Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to enroll student in Learnist for WooCommerce order. Suppose I am selling a particular course on my WooCommerce store and now I want that whenever a person is going to make the payment for that specific course, automatically the same person should be added as a new learner on my Learnist platform and then the same person should also be enrolled for a particular course in Learnist. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For that, we will have to integrate all these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation software Pabli Connect. So what we are going to do, we have WooCommerce in our trigger and then we have Learnist in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that whenever a person is going to place an order for a particular course in WooCommerce, automatically by using that response, the same person should be added as a learner in my Learnist app for the same course. Now, in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate WooCommerce with Learnist and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation software, Pabli Connect. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options over here, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now because I am already an existing user, therefore I am clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create multiple folders over here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have two folders over here. In this test integration folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, you can create folders and save your workflows in them accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. And a dialog box is appeared in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let us first of all provide a name. Enroll learner in Learnist for WooCommerce order. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflow. So here from the drop down, I am going to select test integrations folder. And now we will simply click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and will start it. And the actions are going to follow the same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's understand the concept of trigger and action once again with the example of this workflow. Let's say here we are going to take WooCommerce in our trigger and Learnist in our action. And we want that as soon as a new order will be placed for a particular course in WooCommerce, automatically by using that response, the same person should be enrolled as a learner for a particular course in our Learnist application. So let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we will have to select our trigger application. Here we are going to select WooCommerce and now the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So here from the drop down, I am going to select new order created as my trigger event as I want that whenever a new order will be placed in WooCommerce store, the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and with that the workflow should get start. Okay. Now, as we have clicked on connect, here is the webhook URL which is provided to us along with some instructions. So basically, we have to follow these instructions step by step in order to connect our WooCommerce account with Pabli Connect. And that we are going to do with the help of this webhook URL. First of all, let us copy this webhook URL and then I am going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So in order to connect WooCommerce with Pabli Connect, we will have to go towards our WordPress account as WooCommerce is the plugin of WordPress and I have installed WooCommerce on my WordPress site. So here I'm going to take you towards my WordPress site and this is the dashboard of WordPress. Now after coming here from the left side we can find the option of WooCommerce as WooCommerce is the plugin of WordPress and when we will select WooCommerce here are several options given to us. Among these options we have to select settings and after coming on settings from the top we can find the option of advanced. Let's click on it and as we have clicked on advanced here we will find the option of web -book. Let's select it. And after selecting webhooks, here is the option of add webhook. So in order to add and create a new webhook, we will have to click on this add webhook option. And as we have clicked on it here, 
it has taken us towards the webhook data now here we have to enter the details in these fields in order to create and add a new webhook okay first of all let us provide a name to this webhook let's say here i'm going to provide the name as test just a random name and in the status section from the drop down we have to select active okay after doing this, the next it is asking us for the topic. Topic is the event for which we want to add this webhook. So here from the drop down, I'm going to select the topic as order created as I want that whenever a new order will be created in WooCommerce store, automatically the response should be sent towards Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL. Okay, so here I will select order created over here and the next is delivery URL. In this field, we just have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect and done. After entering all these details, let's click on save webhook. And with this, we can find that our webhook is updated successfully. So let's go back on Pabli Connect. And here we have received a test response. Okay, now we will click on recapture webhook response to capture a new response. And as we have done that, it is showing waiting for webhook response. Now what we are supposed to do, we will have to do a test submission by placing an order in our WooCommerce store so that the response of that order could be captured here in Pabli Connect. And for doing that, I'm going to take you towards my WooCommerce store. Here we will select visit store. And this is my WooCommerce store. So here are several products. Among these products, I want to purchase this advanced PHP course. As I want that whenever this course is being purchased in WooCommerce, then only the response should be captured in Pabli Connect. Okay, so I'm going to purchase this course, add to cart. And now we will click on this proceed to checkout. So as the checkout page is open in front of us, I'm going to enter the details here in order to place the order for advanced PHP course. As I'm doing a test submission, therefore I'm just going to enter dummy and random details over here. Okay, so let's start with the first name. Let's say here I'm going to enter the first name as dummy, the last name as customer, a company name, let's say Pabli. Country region is already selected, street address, random apartment, city, Bhopal, state, Madhya Pradesh. I have also added a random pin code, a random phone number and now I am going to enter a random email address. And now we will simply click on place order. And as we have done that, we can find that our order is completed. Thank you, your order has been received. Now let's go back on Pabli Connect and we can find that as soon as we have placed the order in WooCommerce store, automatically the response of that same order is captured over here in Pabli Connect with all the details. So here the product which is being purchased is given over here as advanced PHP course along with the details of the customer who has purchased the course. Okay, now because we have received this response, that means our integration is successful. And now by using the same response, we are going to enroll a learner in our Learnist application for a particular course that is advanced PHP. Okay, now before moving forward, I want to add a condition over here in this workflow as I want that only when the advanced PHP course is being purchased in WooCommerce, then only this workflow should continue otherwise not. So here for that, I am going to apply filter in my action step and with that I will set a condition here in this workflow that only whenever in this response the course name will appear as advanced PHP then only this workflow should continue otherwise not. So for that here we will select filter in my action step and now we will select the action application as filter values. Click on connect and now we are going to set a condition in this filter. So for that we have to select a label value and then we have to select the filter type whatever we want and according to that we have to select the value which we want to keep in the workflow. Okay now I want to set a condition as whenever the name of the product will appear as advanced PHP in this response then only this workflow should continue otherwise not. So for the label here I am going to use the product name as advanced PHP. Let me search for the product advanced PHP course. I will use the filter type as equal to and here I am going to again enter the value as advanced PHP as I want that whenever the list name of the product which is being purchased from WooCommerce is equal to advanced PHP then this workflow should continue. So here again I am going to enter advanced PHP. We will click on save and send test request to check this condition if it is true or not. And yes, our condition is true and the status is success. Why? Because the product which is being purchased in WooCommerce is advanced PHP. Okay, now let's move further and our next action step is to enroll this particular person as a learner in Learnist application for this same advanced PHP course. For that, we will click on this plus sign. And here in the action application, I'm going to select Learnist. 
Now, after selecting the action application, we will select the action event. And here in the action event, first of all, we will have to select sign up. Because with the help of this action step, we are going to register a new learner in our learners platform. Okay, so therefore this action step is important before enrolling this person in our Learnist application for a particular course. Now let's click on connect and from the given options I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Learnist account. So as we have clicked on add new connection here we have to enter two details school ID and API key. Now from where we are going to find both the details for that instructions are provided to us here. We just have to go towards our Learnist account and then we have to go towards marketing section. So let me take you to my Learnist application and here we will go towards marketing section. Under that here we can find the option of integrations. Let's select it. And after coming on integrations page, here is the Pabli connect option. Let's select it. And after coming on Pabli integration, we have to click on settings section. As we have clicked on settings, here are both the details, school ID and the API key. So first of all, it is copy the school ID and we will paste it here in Pabli connect. And now the next is API key. So we will again go and copy the API key and paste it here in this field. Done. In the same manner, you have to find both the details, school ID and API key. Now we will click on save. And with this, our Learnist account is connected with Pabli Connect. And here we have to enter the email of the person to whom we want to register. We want to register the person who have made the payment in WooCommerce. And we have received all the details of that same person here in our earlier response. So we are going to use the same response in order to map the data over here. So what is mapping? Mapping is just inserting the data from our previous step. Here is our previous step. We will simply select it and here are all the details. So whatever data we want, we can either scroll down to find it or we can search here. So here I want email. I'm going to search email over here and it has redirected me towards the email which we have received in the response. Let, let's select it and it is mapped. Now, why we have mapped this email instead of entering it manually? Because when we map a data, automatically with each and every response, it is going to be replaced and a new data is going to come in this field. So here, because we have mapped this email, now whenever a new order will be placed in WooCommerce and the response of that order will be captured here in Public Connect, this email is going to be replaced with a new email of a new person. But if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, we use mapping in order to automate the entire process. Now we will click on save and send test request and we can find that we have received the response and in response we have received the ID of the user. This means that this person is recently registered in our Learnist application. Now we will move further and we will finally enroll this person for a particular course that is advanced PHP in Learnist platform. Let's click on this plus sign to add one more action step here and again we are going to search Learnist over here and this time in the action event we will select paid enrollment. Click on connect because I have already built a connection with Learnist account. Therefore, I'm going to go with the existing connection only. And here our Learnist account is again connected with Pabli Connect. So what we are going to do, we will simply have to enter two details, email and the course title. In the place of email, we have to map the email of the person. And in the place of course title here, we have to enter the name of the course. The name of the course is advanced PHP. So here I'm going to enter the name and done. Okay, click on save and send as request. And we have received the response along with the message that added user to the product with paid access. This means this user has got the paid access of our course advanced PHP in Learnist platform. Let's go and check in our Learnist platform. Here we will go towards learner section and here we can find that yes, two minutes ago automatically a new learner is enrolled over here with the same email which we have received in the WooCommerce store. This means our workflow is perfectly successful. So let's go back on Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken four simple steps over here, trigger and actions. In trigger, we have taken WooCommerce and in action, we have taken filter by Pabli and Learnist. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new order will be placed in WooCommerce store for a particular product, automatically the response of that order will be captured here in Pabli Connect. And by using that response, automatically the same person is going to be registered in Learnist platform. And after that, automatically the same person will be enrolled for a particular course for which he had made the payment in Learnist this platform okay we have also applied filter over here to set a condition so that only the person who have made the payment for a specific course will be added as a learner and only then the workflow is going to continue okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching 
Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.